first step was taken today to move a Confederate general's bust from Tennessee's Capitol building. This after years of debate surrounding the memorial to General Nathan Bedford Forrest. And now two other military busts may go with it. State Capitol reporter Chris Bungard hears the testimony that led to this historic vote and looks at the next steps. Oh God, oh God. The day here began with an in-person appeal from Republican Governor Bill Lee. I think we have an opportunity to make decisions here today that will impact not only people's lives, but our state. And that is what the 11 member Tennessee Capitol Commission did. It took the first step to put the Capitol building bust of Confederate general and slave trader Nathan Bedford Forrest in the state museum. But there was an 11th hour change. And the reason for this motion really is to celebrate the uh, fabulous military history of the state of Tennessee. What the state comptroller proposed and the commission agreed to was send the Tennessee Capitol Hill bus of Admiral David Farragut of Damn the Torpedoes fame and Nashville native Admiral Albert Gleaves to the state museum along with the Confederate general's bust. For a band of raucous protesters urging the Confederate general's bust as part of their demands while occupying another part of Capitol Hill, they seem not to mind a couple of other Capitol busts in the deal so far. State lawmakers who fought long to remove the Confederate general's bust were more lukewarm. Uh, the work that was done today was not perfect. I share my colleagues' concern that any wording that addresses Nathan Betra Torres as a hero is seriously out of line. Now, as some of those state lawmakers address the protesters here, the matter of the Nathan Bedford Forrest bust at the Tennessee State Capitol goes on to the State Historical Commission, plus two other Capitol artifacts. Reporting from Nashville, Chris Bungard. Thank you, Chris. So the Tennessee Historical Commission could once again change the proposal about the Capitol bus, but what it decides will be the final word.